Welcome to this month's Jack Sucks at Geography subreddit video. Not gonna lie, I may have forgot that this series and subreddit existed, so I didn't do one last month. So, uh, sorry about that. However, if you want to help make this subreddit more memorable, then please join it. Link in the description. 22.8 thousand members currently. If you join the subreddit now, you'll be one of the OGs in like two years time when it's got like 100,000 members or whatever. And also the posts aren't very good at the minute, so I really need your help. Please join the subreddit. <laughs> Flag of the Seychelles, but it's big. Right, hang on. What have you done here? Oh, okay, you've spread it out from each of its own colours. Oh, I get it, I get it. Can I name every flag here? I don't think I can. Obviously, we've got Australia, we've got Chad and Romania, we've got Vietnam, we've got Kyrgyzstan, China. Uh, that's... Don't get this wrong. I've got this wrong before and people make fun of me. That's... Uh, Taiwan, right? No, it's the Maldives. It's the Maldives. I'm not even a minute into the video. Ah. Then we've got Hungary. I don't know that one. That's the old Libya flag. That's Brazil. Ooh, that is. It's not a country flag. It's a territory. It's got the Australia stars. We've got the shape of the island there. Is it Christmas Island? Yes, we've redeemed ourselves. Go on. <laughs> the Kosovo. Don't know that one. Don't know that one. <clears throat> <clears throat> How many times can Jack embarrass himself in this video? Guys, guess where I'm from, huh? <laughs> I made wrapping paper for the flag of St. Lucia. That is nice. I would absolutely use that wrapping paper. Did you print that out though? Because I gotta have mercy on your printer. Oh my god, we get a sense of scale when we spot your tiny little thumb. I like it. 10 out of 10 would use. Okay, who the hell Swedened my Bangladesh flag? Guys, join the subreddit. Let's get some good porn. <laughs> Movies, we gotta save the world. The world, just America. <laughs> How many languages do you speak fluently? I speak Finnish, Swedish, English, and German. Oh, look who wants to just show off how many languages they speak. I speak English, obviously, and I know like 500 words in German. So a very long way from being fluent. I've been learning German a while, it's getting quite hard. And I'm always wondering, should I just start learning Spanish or French or something? And instead of just trying to perfect German, maybe it would be more useful to just know the basic basics of like lots of languages. We've got 300 comments though, so let's see what other people are doing. Oh my god, what a polyglot. Fluent in three, learning two extras, giving up on Russian. Interesting. Yeah, having a whole different alphabet would just really take some getting around. Fluent in English and French, guess what country I'm from? I would assume maybe Canada. Yep. <laughs> oh, this person's fluent in some coding languages as well as verbal languages. All right, turns out that you can all speak many more languages than me. Guys, where do you think I'm from? <laughs> I want a serious one of these. I quite enjoyed playing this last time. Wait a second. Speaking of playing something, it's time for Jack's Geography Interlude. <laughs> Okay, I want to do Worldle. I've literally not played Worldle for like, I don't know, six months or something. Okay, here we go. Oh, I don't want to recognize it. So it's not European. It's got a tiny little enclave thing there. Let's just try Kuwait to begin with so that we can try and get a sense of area. Oh, 81%. We're not that far away. 3,000 kilometers that way from Kuwait. So could it be like Azerbaijan or something? I'll give that a go. Oh, here we go. Right. No, it's still that way. 3,000 kilometers. Does that get us past Europe? Maybe I should go somewhere in Northern Africa. I'll try like Tunisia. I'm pretty sure it isn't Tunisia, but I just want to... Oh, it is Tunisia. <laughs> Oh my god, they've added bonus rounds. One of four. Guess the neighbours. So I have to say what countries Tunisia borders. Absolutely. Can you guess the three border countries of Tunisia? Okay, well that is Malta, which I didn't know it bordered, to be honest. I'm a bit confused about that, seeing as Malta's an island. And then I'm assuming it's Algeria. Guess, there you go. And what's that one? It's not Egypt. Is it Libya? I'll give it a go. <laughs> oh my god, there's another bonus round. <laughs> guess the capital. I think I know it. Tunis. Guess. Oh my god, guess the flag. <laughs> Go on then, don't mind if I do. Final round, guess the population. Okay, this one I don't actually know. I'm just guessing. I would say, mm, 15 to 20. Ah. Uh, and the currency, uh, dinner. <laughs> well, that was way more fun than I was expecting. You make a geography channel. You become successful in getting subscribers by creating awesome content. People want you to fit at penis stone. <laughs> Hey, I'll go to Penis Stone. It's only like half an hour from here. It's a lot easier for me to travel to Penis Stone than it is Equatorial Guinea. I'm sorry, what? Okay, you've googled ugly flags and... <gasps> the Seychelles flag comes up! 
<laughs> what else is there? Okay, yeah, that's fair. That's a pretty dreadful flag, and that one's just got way too much going on. But Central African Republic, I think that's a solid flag. I proper like that one. Belize is obviously, like, too complicated. You can't really work it out from a distance, so I agree with that one. Haiti, you know I don't really like the white bit. And then I guess that one's not great either. It's all right, though. Let's be real. Which one looks more like a boot? Italy or New Zealand? All right, Italy, obviously the most famous boot-shaped country in the world, but I see what you've done there. Turn New Zealand upside down, it's pretty boot shaped as well. They've even both got the heel and everything. I present to you Czech Republic. I really hate that. I don't like that at all. I made flag marbles. Well, isn't that nice? Right, let's see if I can identify them. We have got Japan. We've got uh, Slovakia, I think. We have Syria. Then Tuvalu? Anyone? Anyone for Tuvalu? That one, I don't know. I'll get that one wrong. Then we've got Algeria, Mauritania, I think. USA, I don't really know on that one. It kind of looks like Iceland or the UK, but neither of them are quite right. I'll say Iceland. Then we've got Brunei. Then we've got that's UK. That must be North. Way. That's Cyprus. That, ooh, don't tell me. Myanmar at the bottom. But that one is... I can't remember. Let me know in the comments what it is, for God's sake. I made India in Minecraft. Top comment of this post will be made. What's that? It looks like a little willy. <laughs> Can we enhance that, please? Oh, it's a pig. <laughs> That makes more sense, to be fair. Whoa, a video of me in my Minecraft world map world. That is pretty solid, to be fair. Yeah, you've done a good job on all the countries. How much have you done? Is it all of Europe? Look at the flags. The ship's perfect on them. Europe, according to my dad. <laughs> I like how he's put England and United Kingdom separate. Wait, why is it shoved Argentina up there? I am your, ah, uh, ah, uh, country, country. I'm a country. You're the capital of Ecuador. Ah. Okay, so in my learning South American capitals for some reason, Colombia popped into my head just for a second when I was trying to think of Quita, which is the capital of Ecuador. I made one tiny little lapse in judgment, and now here you are ridiculing me for it. I don't know what I was thinking, all right? You know what? As I look at this picture of myself, it reminds me of my brand new glasses. I ordered some new glasses recently because my prescription changed. But people that wear glasses will know that glasses are really expensive. It was about to cost me 350 quid. But then because I've been using honey for over three years, this little fella pops up and he tells me he's automatically scoured the internet and found a couple of coupon codes. So I'm like, well, that sounds nice. I click apply coupons, Honey does its magic, and before you know it, I've saved 63 pounds. There's literally no reason not to use Honey for yourself because it's always just there ready to possibly save you a bit of money. So if you'd like to support me and the Geography channel for free, all you need to do is head to joinhoney.com jog and click continue to Honey to add it to your browser. Let me know how much money you save and thank you, Honey, for sponsoring this video. Oh, look at this. Jack looks like Geography fella. So it's obviously inspired heavily by the U2s, but it's in just a totally different art style. That looks so cute. I like it. Speaking of the U2s, they should start shipping quite soon, like next month, maybe the month after. I'm really excited to see them start arriving for people. Jack making a mistake, people making fun of it. I was young, I was foolish. <laughs> oh no, Jack did the same mistake for a second time. Oh, why do I always get Maldives and Taiwan mixed up? Oh no, then I did it again at the start of this video. Isn't it weird how your brain can just continue Continuously make the same mistake over and over again. It's like the amount of times I forget the flag of Burundi You'd think because I forgot it so many times I would remember it because of that. Oh god Jack's early GeoGuessr videos be like <laughs> Yeah, I was absolutely terrible at geography really not that long ago at all And it was a bold choice of me to start making geography related content because I really did embarrass myself so many times And I still do to this day to be fair, but it's in a slightly more highbrow manner <laughs> Right, let's see how many things we can point out that's wrong with this map well, India. I mean, that's not India. That is Madagascar. <laughs> it's the wrong shape. How does that happen, though? I don't get it. Oh, my God. UK is connected to mainland Europe. Norway is also connected to, like, Denmark and stuff. How does this happen? You've got Texas above New York. It would make sense to put them the other way around. Pacific Ocean's in the right place, so that's good. Singapore, I don't think, is in the right place. Oh, oh, my God. The text for Europe's definitely a bit too far over. Oh, God. Mediterranean? <laughs> How does this happen? Canada! Oh my god, the more I look. Do they, oh god, this is horrific. They must have been taking the mickey when they put this up. Percentage of Welsh people that can speak Welsh. I am interested in this, because obviously when you go to Wales, all of the signs are in Welsh and English. So you assume it's quite high, and this graph shows that it is actually kind of high. A lot of it's like 50% of the population. I don't know if I believe that. I thought it'd be lower. No, in all fairness, 30% of people aged three or older were able to speak Welsh in 2021. You know, that's pretty 
pretty high. I think the signs are justified then. Vatican City is bigger than you think. Okay, you've whacked China and Russia inside of Vatican City. Okay, it's a really funny one that. Whoa, our glass put up flags where each person is from and it was my idea. Oh, that, no way. Oh, that's so cute. Wow, how multicultural your class is. If this was my secondary school, it would have just been all England flags just all the way along. <laughs> Next Drex Geography video will be like, can I name all zero capital cities in Antarctica? I kind of want to. <laughs> You've done a nice job with the mock-up thumbnail as well, I respect that. Which capital city's continents should I learn next? I guess it's maybe gonna have to be North America, isn't it? Because that's the next lowest, but oh, there's so many funny little Caribbean ones. Ah! Oh. Georgia, the US state. Georgia, the country. South Georgia and the Sandwich Islands. A lot of Georgias kicking about. If someone finally raked Canada's flag, they'd discover Canada is actually ruled by Peru. Right. Whoa, the Qatar flag in today's World Cup match. So the shadow in this area kind of looks like, yeah, I get it. That's cute. I like it. Oh, you've made some more countries. You've added Pakistan. You've added Indonesia. Still lots of pigs kicking about. That's what they are. Oh, have I not shown this off? Current world population has now surpassed 8 billion. 246,000 people are born per day and 123,000 people die per day. That's just crazy to think about. So it's November 15th. Apparently the 8th billionth person was born in the Philippines. Their name was Venice Mabansag. We don't know they were the 8 billionth baby. But we also don't know they weren't. Let's be honest, Tulsa, Oklahoma has a beautiful flag. I am on board with that one. The colours, the simplicity, it's different, it's its own thing. Ah, oh, really nice. Population density of Europe. Why does this look like a real photo from like 200 years ago? But interesting to visualise how densely populated Paris is. Because that's a very tall but also quite narrow point. London's less populated but it's much chunkier. And I guess it just shows how old overpopulated the rest of the UK is because there's lots of these spikes whereas everywhere else on this picture everyone's kind of spread out these days anytime me and Becky drive anywhere we're like why is it so busy it's 2 p.m on a Monday what's everyone doing all the roads are just so busy everywhere you go now guess where I'm from here's that same joke a third time <laughs> oh my god I managed to guess all capitals of the world good luck Jack fair play to you all oh, right it's impressive once you've done it that'll be me one day slowly but surely slowly but surely does your country have a City bigger than the capital. That's quite an interesting map, isn't it? So I know a few of these. Obviously, Sydney is bigger than Canberra, and Auckland is bigger than Wellington. USA probably has a few bigger than Washington. I'm guessing New York definitely is, and I'm assuming Los Angeles maybe as well. Down in Brazil, Rio de Janeiro is much bigger than Brasilia. And then there's not too many in Africa, but most of Europe, their biggest city is also the capital, which is quite interesting. Did you know you can fit one Poland inside Poland? Guys, please join the subreddit. <laughs> Wasted my time naming all all the countries on the truesize.com. I bet that was quite satisfying to do though, watching each of the colours pop up one by one. Jack, this is how you remember the Ukrainian flag. The yellow stands for the wheat field and the blue for the sky. That's such a classic flag thing, the blue representing the sky. I don't know how I got that wrong. The rest of the drawing flags from memory video, I probably nailed it, but this first one, possibly the easiest, I did the colours the wrong way around and it was really obvious. Oh. Did you know that at one point Lithuania was the biggest country in Europe? No, I did not know that. Britain after realising Mars hasn't been colonised organized yet. <laughs> so depressing. Look at the ball. <laughs> Oh, God. Guys, guess where I'm from? Is that far, far away from Shrek? <laughs> I bloody love Shrek. No, there aren't. <laughs> there is no South Sudan on the Jack Sucks of Geography merge. I am sorry if there's anyone from South Sudan watching. Obviously, the map that was used must have just been slightly outdated. I looked for all of, like, the really obvious things, but I guess I missed that one. It's a tricky thing to get 100% right. Even, I think, India's borders are a little bit different to how India see them. But there's things like that all over the world, so it's just never going to be perfect. Perfect. Found this on Google Maps in Italy. Oh my god, they've made Italy out of trees. I made a flag for the unused piece of land in Africa. Ooh. Yeah, so between South Sudan and Sudan, there's this little kind of spot that no one wanted to claim. Let's see the flag. I like it. Yeah, that's nice. It's on brand. Cool concept. The eight wonders of the world. The Great Wall of China. The Roman Colosseum. The Taj Mahal. Machu Picchu. Christ Redeemer. Titian Itza. Petra Jordan. The Jack Sucks in Life. Wee Wee Bush. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Since everyone's doing this, guess where I'm from? Oh, God. 
god. Okay, are there any kind of clues here? To me, this looks like it would maybe be somewhere like Romania, but maybe the snow's too heavy. I don't think it's just like Canada or something. I think it's a little bit harder than that. Are there any clues anywhere? Probably loads, but none that I'm smart enough to recognize. All right, I'm going Romania. It was Slovakia. Okay, I mean, I wasn't that far away. I mean, I wasn't close, but I wasn't that far away. <laughs> Repost because Jack should see this. Okay, we've got Pakistan turning into Algeria, turning into Turkey, turning into Tunisia, turning into Singapore, then... Oh, you're going too fast. I'm getting stressed. I'm getting stressed. That's Libya, right? Is it? Oh, God. Yeah, I think so. Libya, Azerbaijan. Next is, I guess, Indonesia and Monaco. Then we've got Vietnam. Followed by China, that's turning into... Oh, it's very satisfying, this, isn't it? Then we've got Japan. Then we've got South Korea. That was nice. That was a nice transition. Then we've got Cambodia. Followed by... I don't know what that second one was. Then we've got North Korea, and then that turns into Philippines. Oh, that was satisfying with the star. Czech Republic, anyone? What else? Come on, give me a challenge. Cuba, I think? Or is it Puerto Rico? Hang on, they're going to invert the colours. There we go, that's Cuba. Well, that was nice, wasn't it? <laughs> oh my god, Jack needs to buy these flag pants. They are incredible. Go on, I'll have a look at them, I'll have a look. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> I got a new geography lamp that lights up. Well, that is delightful. That's really quite nice, actually. Guess where I'm from based on what I call other countries. Ooh, that's a good idea. Okay, I won't be very good at this, so... Oh my god. Goodness. So you call Russia Rusland, which is what German people call Russia. But Germany call it Frankreich, not Frankreich. Based on that, I guess it's somewhere near Germany, but not Germany. And it looks all a bit too simple to be Polish. Romania, you've called Romania. I'm going to go with Romania again. If I just keep saying it, it'll be right at some point. Norway. Oh. <laughs> what do you think this picture shows? Can you guess what it is? The only thing that I'm thinking of is people that drive on the left instead of the right. Yep, I got it. So blue is driving on the left. Petition that Jack will know about country balls. People are always asking us about country balls. I don't know what country balls is, guys. <laughs> oh, you've had a nightmare. Today's global didn't go exactly as planned. <laughs> you've named basically every country in Africa. So what was it? Seotone and Principe. Guess the country from these five facts part one. Okay, let's do it. This country has no McDonald's. Oh, I've heard this before. Is it Saudi Arabia, maybe? Their national animal is the gyro falcon. Oh, it might still be Saudi Arabia. B was banned. That kind of sounds like Saudi Arabia. The country has over 130 volcanoes. Ooh, that's maybe making me think Uzbekistan. I think I'm going to switch to Uzbekistan. They're one of the happiest countries. Maybe get rid of Uzbekistan. I might be getting mixed up with Turkmenistan, you know, and I don't think Turkmenistan's that happy anyway. I don't know. I might just try Kyrgyzstan, you know. Let's go for it. It was just Iceland. Oh! New Zealand proposal flags are some of the best flags that don't exist. These are amazing. Yeah, so New Zealand were going to change their flag, get rid of the Union jack but then they decided against it in the end but look at all these cool designs that nearly made it in oh so many pretty silver ferns when i went to new zealand i had a see-through phone case at the time and I, I picked a silver fern out of the ground and i like put it there and like squashed it into the back of my phone it looked really nice i realized that when we left new zealand and flew to los angeles i technically smuggled a bit of nature out of the country which is like illegal it's really dodgy and you could destroy the entire ecosystem apparently <laughs> sorry about that guys but anyway on that incredible Note. We'll end the video. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Join the subreddit so we can get some good posts, please. The better the post, the more regularly I can do this series. Thanks a lot. I'll see you later.